Over the following centuries, conquest, commerce, and the growth of the Roman Empire connected countries as far apart as India and Italy. In Alexandria, a scholar named Claudius Ptolemy set out to map this new world. Unfortunately, he didn't have much to work with. Map making seems to have been pretty rudimentary in antiquity and relatively local. Lots of regional maps. We have very few maps that survive. Ptolemy worked out a way to unpeel and project our spherical Earth onto a flat map of the world. His methods and data were so good, they were used for over a thousand years. Even Christopher Columbus planned his voyages to the Americas based on Ptolemy's work. But mapping the Earth was dwarfed by Ptolemy's crowning achievement. An epic project, using math and geometry to chart our vast and constantly moving heavens. And the starting point of this new map was one of the most fundamental ideas in ancient astronomy. Every year, we send hundreds of satellites into space. They orbit our Earth at up to 17 and a half thousand miles per hour. Without them, modern life would grind to a halt. But this space-age technology effectively operates on an ancient idea. Satellites behave as if the planet they orbit is the center of the universe. It's a concept that's not quite as crazy as it sounds. We do not experience the Earth as moving. We experience the sun as moving around us. It's experientially true. It's the world we live in. Wherever you stand on Earth, the skies and everything in them appear to move around us. For Ptolemy, this wasn't just a matter of perspective. It was a matter of fact. An Earth-centered universe. The first building block in a model that would shape our understanding of the skies for the next 1,500 years. Ptolemy combined the ideas of earlier astronomers with his own observations to build his model of the cosmos. And it relied on science, not the supernatural, to make it work. Ptolemy tried to create a complete system to explain everything in the universe, but on largely naturalistic grounds without any need for divinities. No gods, no goddesses, just natural processes. Building out from the Earth, he believed that the heavens surrounding us were spherical too. 